AFL clubs are always trying to maximise every minute of every training session, as well as teach game day tactics in a way that it's easy for the players to absorb. Development manager Heath Uni explains how the new indoor training facility makes that job easier. Yeah, look, uh, obviously we have a, uh, a modified size oval in here. Uh, allows us to bring the team up here uh, on a weekly basis to talk through structures, walkthroughs, what we want to try to, to get out of the game coming up. But also we can bring small groups up here and, and do specific things, uh, whether, it's, um, whether it's centre bounce structures, whether it's midfield structures, forward structures. The oval allows us to have a reference point, being indoors, easy to talk to the group. We're able to watch some vision with our players and then um, bring those players out on the field and actually walk through uh, what we've been watching. This is a great, a great way to be able to cater for all the different learning styles we may have within our playing group. Um, some players like to watch it on vision, some like to walk through. And um, As I said, this is just one of the elements that we can do up here now having a, a surface like this. Under the grass, um, we've got about 35 tonne of sand. Um, we've also got a absorption mat, which uh, takes some of the some of the pressure out off the off the players' feet, legs. And we've also got this little bit of cork, which is recycled uh, cork, which also acts as a absorption. So for the players who are up here, um, it's really soft. Uh, they can wear their boots up here, which is fantastic for them. Uh, you're able to to train up here like you would outside. So you've got your boots on, um, the area is big enough to be able to kick. It's a fantastic product. Uh, it's been a wonderful acquisition to the shed floor. Who can ever forget the Crows' first game back in March 1991? Only three players had VFL or AFL experience when they faced competition heavyweights Hawthorne who have won four premierships from the previous seven seasons. What happened that night stunned the football world. Thanks to our longtime major sponsor, Toyota, who have been with us since that very first game, we'll relive that little bit of history. Who do you like, Ian? Oh, I think Hawthorne should win, Sandy. I hope it's a fantastic game. It's a great night for South Australian football as we watch the brothers Jarman in the picture there. Well, we knew how dramatic it had been. We, we, we knew that the, you know, we weren't, we weren't supposed to be in the AFL yet. And we'd had all the, dra all the drama with Port Adelaide leading into the 1990 final series, but by that stage it had settled down. I mean, they, they had, people don't realise how hard they'd worked over that summer. They, they really were fit, and conditioned and ready. Hawthorne, we probably got them with their guard down a little bit, so they probably were a bit complacent and, and we hit them hard early and they just never recovered. Out there is Langford, but chipping in beautifully was Tregenza. Clue. Oh, look, he just looks too good, Clue. Half. Now hockey. Goes one way, goes the other. Handballs it away. Here he goes, Maynard. Into the open goal. It's another one of the Crows. I know I would have said to them, you know, the whole state is watching and, uh, and our. Uh, morale and fortunes uh, rise and fall with your performance. So I, I tried to impress upon them how important they were to the state. Clever kick, beautiful to Jarman. Standing start, bang, another nail in the hawk pocket. I remember Chris McDermott getting cleaned up by Dermot Brereton and, and Paul Deere the Ruckman. He got sandwiched and knocked out. McDermott, oh, down he goes. Oh, there'll be a fight on here. Nick was in quickly. McDermott's hurt. That was terrible stuff there by the two Hawthorne players, and McDermott has not moved. I think Dermott got, he got four or five matches, and he got, he got a fairly hefty suspension. The Crows have really done everything right tonight. I, I haven't found a cheat in the side as the goes. He just put everybody on notice that you know, we weren't going to be easy beats, and of course we played Carlton the following week, and they beat us, so um, it just made everybody, it, did, it, it made everyone else in Victoria particularly sit up and take notice. And an 86 point win to the Adelaide Crows in their AFL home and away debut. What a remarkable evening. Now the chairman's function each home game gives you the best seats in the house. A food and beverage package includes reserved seating and the car park. Hear the last word from the chairman and a guest player interview 
contact the club on 8440 6666 for more information.